Thank you so much for uh, tuning in, Mr. Mitsubishi here. Today in this video, we'll check out this nice little hatchback. It's a Mitsubishi Mirage here in Canada. It's SE trim level, beautiful wine red color. I absolutely love this color. This Mitsubishi Mirage looks so awesome in this wine red and it's an SE trim level. So for 2023 models here in Canada, there's ES, SC, and GT. So this is the middle of the road. Uh, most popular, I'd say, probably due to uh, options you get and you don't pay the premium for fully loaded. There are some people who want either the base or the fully loaded, or there's a lot of people who want uh, these kind of options. And we'll check out in this video all the goodies that this Mirage comes with. It has very nice looking keys, so we have a lock and unlock button. So um, it used to be that Mirage had like manual locks, manual windows, no ACs. Now they're up their game a little bit and giving us these options that everybody wants. Visually, we can look, uh, we can see how this wine red beautifully plays with chrome that the vehicle has. Very nice front looking, uh, um, you know, bumper and design on, on this um, Mirage. And as we move towards the side, we can see how, you know, this hatchback turns into uh, a sportier looking vehicle with that spoiler. These alloy wheels look absolutely awesome. And there's a good amount of contrast between the chrome on the front that we saw and these wheels. These wheels pop out a lot. Some other colors like uh, silver, or gray would blend a little bit more, but uh, you know, the uh, with wine red, it definitely pops out. And we can see as we walk a little bit closer how this wine red sparkles. It's a nice looking metallic color. Look at that, looks really, really cool. So this car even has uh, mirror caps that are painted body color paint, and it definitely looks uh, pretty good and expensive. Spoiler comes from the factory like that already and we have lower, um, you know, bumper that is uh, very nice and sporty looking. So for this car, uh, they're definitely uh, still very strong demand and, uh, you know, demand is bouncing back, so to speak, with these small, extremely fuel efficient cars. This one has 1.2 liter engine, three cylinders with CVT transmission. There's a lot of people who like them, a lot of people who want them. Okay. Let's have a look what we have inside. We're gonna start the vehicle. Maybe gonna even drive it from here to there just to see how it drives. Let's check it out. Nice cloth interior. Uh, we have full power group, which is awesome. Now uh, all four windows are power windows. We lock and unlock from here. Has traction control as well. And the mirrors can be adjusted uh, automatically. Uh, cloth seats. Mirage does not offer sunroof, anything like that. So, which is, uh, you know, not a lot of people care about it when they buy this uh, uh, caliber of a vehicle. Interior looks very good. I really like how the interior looks. Nice large screen. This part here jumps out when you look at the entire, uh, you know, the interior. This part definitely jumps out. Seven inch screen and uh, uh, this screen is capable of, uh, you know, he supports the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And a lot of people appreciate that, uh, you know, you can uh, have your navigation here and your uh, phone and your audiobooks or music, whatever the case would be. So shifter right here. We have two cup holders over here. USB plug-in right there. Nice manual e-brake. Nothing electronic about that. Uh, cruise control, this one has as well. Let's start the vehicle. I really like the engine sound, how it starts and the starting sound. It's very distinct uh, sound uh, for that. So, uh, you know, the uh, screen here, like, you know, we have this old school uh, looking uh, dash here that just shows you, uh, you know, how many, uh, what's your mileage and your uh, fuel right there and then you have the speed and, and RPMs, very low tech, so to speak, but you know what, that suits the car. Uh, it's very spacious uh, vehicle. So I'm six foot two and I feel good in this car. I don't feel squished in or, or squeezed in. So let's put in drive and let's see how it drives. I really like to drive this car. It's like a go-kart. <laughs> let's put it back in reverse. Nice big backup camera, a bit of a glare going on right now. And uh, you know, it's flickering in, ca uh, in camera in real life. It's uh, uh, all good. And then it would back it up. Very easy to maneuver because you know, the car is fairly small and you know, it fits in perfectly in all the uh, uh, tiny parking stalls and everything else. And we can see if we're off the line uh, right here, we will see it. It's very responsive with its um, 
uh, engine and uh, and transmission combination and to drive it like i said you just drive it and it feels like a uh, a nice little go-kart i really really like to drive it maneuvers well easy easy to drive steering wheel is nice to touch okay let's go back to where we left uh steering wheel easy uh to drive it's uh not covered with uh leather or anything like that uh we have plastic steering wheel but uh, again you know if you're not after luxury uh you'll be okay by driving this car um this one has very nice uh, material on here the central dash this one is like a little bit glossy we can see like that so that's why uh it stands out uh, a lot as well and this car actually has a uh, spare tire and uh jack and a uh, good amount of trunk space all things considered let's check that out right now so the jack is under the uh, driver's seat right here and if we pop the uh, trunk the spare tire is underneath right there so uh, it's very good to have a spare tire for sure right here we have an actual spare tire this here you can take off um, take away if you don't need it the seats they do fall down if you need them fall down then you have the 60 40 split and you have huge space that you could put in a uh, you know bigger um stuff if you need like you know uh, travel bags and whatnot there we go we just checked out this beautiful wine red mitsubishi mirage hatchback 2023 model sc trim level it's canadian spec and see how this uh, color is different now that we're in a in a shadow compared to when we're uh, outside there in a uh, direct sunlight very nice how it changes the tone so thank you so much for checking it out and see you in next videos